read, things were so scary at this Red Lobster last night that a bartender jumped inside this stinky trash bin to avoid getting shot. His friends say he was here for at least 30 minutes after the robbery happened. Detectives also say a customer fired a shot here and that actually scared the robber. They're one of our nation's most beloved symbols, but did you know bald eagles live right out here at Lake Mead? Good afternoon, I'm Denise Ross. We'll take you on a tour coming up. It's just after dawn and the crew is loading up. I'm going to be staying as close to the shore as I can. Preparing for eight hours out on the waters of Lake Mead. Our destination, far from the shoreline of Hemingway Harbor. A scouting trip in search of America's national symbol. Today we are uh, doing a midwinter bald eagle count. It's a nationwide effort. Um, there's people all over the United States doing the same thing around the same time of year. Christy Klinger is a biologist with the Nevada Department of Wildlife, helping volunteer spotters get acclimated to the job ahead. I mean, that's what we're looking for, just little tiny things perched. Searching the rocks and shoreline for a glimpse of bald eagles that migrate to our area during the winter. And in most cases, it will take an eagle eye to find them. Here, watching us closely from a small island, and here, taking flight as our boat comes a bit too close. A lot of people don't know it takes four years before a bald eagle uh, achieves that classic adult plumage. Otherwise, they're mostly brown. It's pretty much exciting every time. They're, they're only here for a couple of months a year, and it's always enjoyable to come out and see them. Tom Culler has participated in the count nearly 20 years. Today, piloting our group past burrows, coyotes, and the silhouette of bighorn sheep. Still, it's the bald eagle spotters are counting. So, Tommy, we see that this takes a lot of patience. It's patience because the tricky part is getting close enough to the beach to give the uh, observers a good chance to spot the eagles without putting the boat on the rocks. As for why it's done, this nationwide count will give scientists a better understanding of how bald eagles are doing overall, breeding trends and habitat information. Here, two immature birds sit side by side. I would say that is probably another third year bird and the one on the right is probably a second year bird. While the eagles generally leave our area around February, a few years ago scientists spotted a nesting pair that stuck around full time. Now unfortunately that first summer our climate was simply not ideal for their offspring. It was a hot summer plus where they had oriented their nest was just a hot place and the, unfortunately the eaglet didn't make it that year. Still that nest is a hopeful sign that the eagles of Lake Mead will continue to thrive for generations to come. Denise Rosh, News 3. All right, now you can bite into it. Be careful, it's hot. Okay, all righty. I have the leg, okay? Nothing like a taste test with world-renowned master chef Wolfgang Puck at his new downtown Summerlin restaurant. Look at that. It's a cherry walnut bread. Wow. Smell it. As food critics say, Puck is all hands-on when it comes to the food he serves up. It's important to season the food well. Advice from one of the world's most respected chefs. Wolfgang has now decided to take his talents off the strip to the Las Vegas suburbs. This is really an important part, I think, of a lifestyle solution. How are we going to live? How do the people going to enjoy life? It's not going back downtown to their workplace. It's hanging out as a neighborhood. And you certainly get that communal feeling once you walk into Puck's restaurant. The tables are long and the room is wide, giving the restaurant guests an intimate setting. This is not pretentious. We didn't stay, spend $10 million to build a restaurant, so we don't need to charge like they charge at the strip. The prices are made right for locals. So what is a chicken, a little salad, yeah. and you go home and you spend $20. You know, you don't have... You don't have to spend a lot of money to get good food. The master chef even put out a kid's menu, something you won't see at his other restaurants. It, we are very kids friendly, so we have a menu for kids, so that way the parents don't have to worry when they come here and say, well, do they gonna have something for my children? 
Here we have something. Summerlin residents adore their new neighborhood master chef and restaurant. It's very exciting, very exciting to meet the man and he put something healthy out and that's what we're looking for nowadays. Have you eaten here yet? Four, Four times. times. What do you think? Oh, it's fabulous. We, we have food. It's great. With this opening, Puck envisions more possibilities. He says there's a chance more restaurants will open off the strip. Reporting in Summerlin, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Right this way, folks. Just come over here. There's something about a great buy that's too good to pass up. What you see behind me are samples. All of this merchandise is located in the guest rooms. Needed or not, a sale draws people in. And here in Las Vegas... Another set? Leonard! That's another set. The closing of the 200-room <laughs> Clarion Hotel means bargains for the Endelicati brothers, the American pickers of Vegas. We're actually kind of different. He buys stuff that he can just buy and flip it right away. I'm more of a collector, so it depends on what I find. Usually what I buy, I keep in my house. From kitchen gadgets to linens to hotel room furniture, it's everything must go for the Clarion. Greg Hall with NCL National Content Liquidator says his company was given one month to move out everything. I recommend coming to the sale with a truck, with a U-Haul, with muscle. We have dollies here you can use to move your items, but other than that, it's up to you to move it from the room down or from the restaurant out. The Clarion closed earlier this month and does hold a bit of Hollywood magic, the property once owned by actress Debbie Reynolds. Now it's dinner plates for $1, a chandelier for 825 Different things have caught our eyes, so Towels you can't go wrong for $3. And even if you've never stepped foot in this hotel before, there is a chance you have run across some of this merchandise before. Some of the furnishings are out of other hotels when they close, such as the Sahara and the El Rancho. These old leather booths right here in the showroom, these are from the dunes. And so are these front doors still adorned with the famous D. Price tag, 1100 bucks. And that's probably the most um, original or authentic Piece we have here. And Hall says he and his crew are still finding treasures in the hotel storage room, meaning fresh stock for the next round of shoppers. Denise Roche. Nice. Nice. News 3.